Hey friends, it's Jessie and welcome back to the channel and welcome to what originally was supposed to be a trying new makeup slash skincare video, but ultimately just turned into a get ready with me. If you're curious as to how I created this look on my face today, then I would just keep on watching. So like I said in this video, I'm not only going to be trying some makeup products, but I'm also going to be doing some skincare. A brand called Stylevana actually partnered with me to help with their August campaign, so I will include a video of kind of all the goodies that they sent over. They were so kind to send over some Korean skincare products. They are a Korean skincare slash makeup brand. I will link all the products that they sent to me as well as their website in the description box below. But if you do check out their website, you can use code INF10 Jesse R at checkout for 10% off your entire order. So so I will, as I said, link everything in the description below if you're interested in checking it out. I have loved working with them and their products have been so fun to try. Let's go ahead and slide over to my little skincare routine. Sorry if I'm low energy, it's literally seven o'clock and normally I'm not up until nine. Oh, hello, Bruce. Do you wanna come say hi? No, uh, knocking things over. There he is, my baby. I'm saying hi to all our internet friends. Yeah. As I was saying, it is super early in the morning. Even Bruce thinks it's too early for me to be up. Actually, he's probably excited, but. For cleanser, they sent me this foam green deep foaming cleanser, and I actually really like it. This one's just like a smaller trial size, and I've used almost all of it already, but that was the cleanser I washed with. Now I'm gonna move into my toner pads. So the toner pads they sent me are from the brand Wellage, or Wellage and it's the Real Hyaluronic Blue Toner Pad. It has little like plastic tweezers that you pull them out with. They're just like these little pads, but I've already lost the plastic tweezers. Super soothing to my skin. The Hyaluronic, I believe, soothes my skin a lot. When I was in middle school, I used the Noxzema pads. Does anyone remember those? Those things burned like a bee, I tell you. These are super nice and soothing, and I like that they're in like the pad form already because then I don't have to deal with trying to drip the right amount and then using a cotton pad over it. I can literally just pull one out and it's ready to go. Next from Logically Scan It, they sent me the Aquatide Resurface Serum, which I actually quite like. It's supposed to be firming and lifting and it's a serum to help slow the look of aging and reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Thankfully, I am not quite at that stage in my life where that is a huge concern, but I appreciate the prevention measure. Sorry if I keep going out of frame. It's just so hard. My bathroom is so tiny. Like you guys are literally sitting on the very corner of this sink, like propped up against the wall uh, next to my mirror. Serums are really one of my favorite steps of skincare because my skin is so sensitive and dry and I feel like serums just really add that moisture factor that I'm missing. The next step they sent is Make P Rem, I think is how you say it. It is the Watery Ampoule, Ampoule. I'll let you guys figure out that word because I don't know. Instantly calms and hydrates its skin. This stuff is amazing though. Like I feel like it cools the skin as well as calms and hydrates. I feel like my skin just felt, not like it was burning, but it felt warm from all the skincare steps I was doing to it. You know, kind of when your skin is just like a little bit tired of you putting so much on it but I feel like this really soothes the skin and it gets it feeling nice and calm again. Really like this step. And Maddie, this one's for you, but my favorite product is the SPF product. This is the Safe Recipe pan Panthenol and Creamide, Ceramide, English, and my brain aren't working today. But this is a face cream with SPF 50, which we love. I am a pasty girl and I love a good SPF. And I got it all over my pajamas. And that should be my morning skin routine complete. Let's go ahead and hop back to the studio. In my last video, I talked about how I got Elle and Dustin from Stranger Things for my background, but I also added Steve this week, so love Steve Harrington. But skincare is prepped. Let's go ahead and get into the face. Now, I don't have new everything. Uh, there are some newer products that I got over the summer that I am still kind of playing with and trying out. For base products, I don't really have anything new, so I'm gonna go in with my normal Super Goop sunscreen, my Charlotte Tilbury foundation, and the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. As always, I will link all the products down below low. I think where the new stuff is going to come in is pretty much after the base is done because I have 
newer stuff for the rest of my face. <laughs> so I'm planning on actually redoing my filming space and getting it all nice and cute. I don't know. I like the background I have. It's a lot. So I want to do something a little bit more colorful, a little bit more simple. Let me know if that would be something you're interested in seeing of redoing my beauty room. I know I said a while back that I was going to be doing a reorganization video of my beauty space but then then I switched offices now I'm in a different room in the house and yeah I have some ideas I'm thinking about getting rid of this table behind me and then doing like a white Ikea dresser and then being able to like put stuff on top of that I just feel like this table behind me is just so small and my record player barely fits on it I'm so excited because I'm going to get my hair done today my roots are so bad like so I'm very excited. I need to have more blonde in my hair. It's an addiction at this point. I've worked too hard to get blonde. I don't think I could go back to being a brunette again. I just can't. I'm dragging up my concealer onto my eyelid because I think I'm just gonna use that as like my eye primer today. I don't feel like actually going through the hassle of putting on an additional product on my eye. So we're kind of going for lazy, but also playing around with newer stuff today. For powder, I'm just gonna go into my Dior Powder No Powder. I am obsessed with this. Speaking of concealer, by the way, I wanted to get the Rem Beauty like concealer pot. However, when I went to go pick up my shade, I wanted to swatch the shades in person and kind of see which one I liked. The one I liked best, I believe, was like Light 6N. Normally I go for Fair, but their Fair products were super, super fair. And I'm not really into like a brightening concealer at the moment. I like more of like a natural concealer. So they were out of my shade. It said that they had several in stock, but the lady was so nice and actually tried to help me find it and she could not find it. I ordered it off of Ulta's website, but it hasn't gotten here yet. So maybe in the future I can do a video where I'm trying out that concealer. That was something I really wanted to try as well as like that sponge, the REM Beauty Blending Sponge. For brows, in my last Ulta haul, I got this brow microfilling pen by Benefit. It's supposed to make your brows look like they're microbladed and this is in the shade Medium Brown. I have found that when I use this, I just kind of fill in the little hairs like that, just very lightly. And then I go back in with like my Anastasia Brow Wiz afterwards and then I add in a couple darker hairs just so it looks like my eyebrows are actually filled. I underestimated how this type of product would look. It doesn't look bad on its own, I just don't like how it looks on me on its own. This was one of those impulse purchases that honestly I probably didn't need but I was like what is that? I need that. I like the feathered look because some of my favorite brow pens are like the felt tip eyeliner type pens. So I like that it's like a feathered tip, but I do like to go back in with like a brow pencil and just very lightly draw a couple more hairs in there. So I have to fake my eyebrows and then I have to fake my fake eyebrows being filled. So for eyeshadow today, I'm gonna to be playing with two palettes. These are two of my newer palettes. My newest palette is my Too Faced Better Than Chocolate Bar, but this just is very neutral. I initially pulled out my Nomad Fête de Provence palette. I did three looks, one palette with this a while back. I will link that in the cards and the description if you want to check that video out. But I really liked the pinks in here. And because I still haven't played with it and I've had it for like a month, the Lethal 1-Up palette. I want to play with at least the pink shimmer in here. I think that'll be really pretty. I'm going to start in the Nomad palette. I'm going to go into Rosé, which is this really light baby pink shade. And I'm going to start buffing that in my crease and transition area. Has anyone seen the teaser for the new Nomad palette? Guys, I'm literally obsessed. I'd love to know what everyone's guesses are. I feel like it's rainforest inspired, like maybe Brazil or the Amazon. It just looks very colorful. And so far the only shades as of the time I'm filming this that they've shown are greens and pinks. And I love greens and pinks on me. So you know I'm gonna be getting that palette. Next I'm going into Vendage, which is the wine red color at the bottom. And I'm going to pop this in the crease as well, but keeping it mostly on the outer third. I'm kind of blending it up and in. I really like to keep 
the darker shades and the definition on the outer part of my eyelid and then leave the inner part open. It makes my eyes look bigger. I am now going to hop into Game Over from the Lethal One Up palette. I had every intention to do like a YouTube short or a reel with this. Didn't happen. But this is very pretty. It's actually a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a lot pinkier. How is it that whenever I want a specific shade, I can never find that shade in my collection? I want like a hot pink shimmer for my eyelid. So we went with a failsafe, the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. There is a really pretty pink in here, cotton candy, which is hot pink shimmer. Just seems like the move today. This is pretty much the palette I pull out if I know I want a very oddly specific shade and I can't seem to find it in any other palette. Chances are it's in this palette. But this, this is what I wanted. Just a nice hot pink shimmery transition. This is really just kind of turning into a get ready with me, honestly. I'm gonna take that crease brush that I use and I'm going to make sure everything is blended. And then I'm gonna go into my color switch take off some of that pink pigment and then I'm gonna go over the light shimmer on the inner part of my eyelid real quick. I'm just hopping into game over again, just very quickly and I'm gonna start bringing that up and blending that into the deeper pink. For my lower lash line, I'm going to hop back into rose again real quick. And I'm going back into Vendange, which is the berry wine color. And I'm just popping that on my lower lash line, kind of to match on the upper part where I put it in the crease. For my inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm gonna go in with Tempura from my ABH Modern Renaissance palette. This is just a very nice natural brow bone highlight, which I appreciate. And then also in my inner corner, I'm hopping into Vermeer, which is this really pretty, cool tone pink transition. Lost my train of thought, but like I was saying, I used Vermeer just in the inner corner to brighten it up. For lashes, I have two different pairs of lashes that I picked up in my last Ulta haul. I have these Glamnetic Magnetic Lashes, and then I also have these Rem Beauty Grow and Show Lashes, and I think I wanna go in with the Rem ones, just because I haven't tried the Magnet ones, and I would hate for them to fall off while I'm getting my hair done, like that would just be so embarrassing. So, to prep my eyeballs, I'm gonna do a quick wing with my MAC Brush Black Eyeliner, my holy grail, we all know this by now. I really like the rim lashes. The bands are super flexible and they're so easy to apply. While my lash glue is setting, I'm going to go in with this new Too Faced bronzer. This is in the shade Natural Chocolate Golden Cocoa. This came out with the Better Than Chocolate collection. I have one of their other bronzers. I think it's like the Milk Chocolate and I actually really like it. So I figured I would like this one as well. And this one I feel like is very subtle. Like it's just a natural wash of bronze. I was kind of nervous because it looks pretty dark in the pan, but on the skin, and it looks very natural and it smells like chocolate. We love products that smell like chocolate. Look how flawless that application was. Oh, never happens. It's always like you do one perfect and then you have to redo the other one like four times. So while I'm waiting for that lash glue to set again. I'm gonna go into my Fenty Swirl Bronzer. This is in the shade Chocolate Swiller, Chocolate Swiller. I've actually really liked this. This is like a metallic bronzer and I find it so good for the summer because I don't feel like I need to add highlight. Like it adds just the perfect amount of glow to any bronzer. And if I do this and like just a touch of blush over top, like I feel like it looks so natural and glowy and I don't have to go into a highlighter. This one was one of those that I was a little skeptical when I bought it. I wasn't sure if I was gonna actually like it or not, but I actually really enjoy it. Just taking my foundation brush and kind of just buffing over everything, making sure I don't have any harsh lines. And now we're going to attempt to put these lashes on again. I'm gonna just cheat. No, it's not as noticeable. Just make the wing a little thicker. We're just gonna call it a day. So now that I have a bronzer for blush, I have, I'm trying to find my blush. I have this one that's not very new. This is from MAC. It is in the shade Dilly Dolly. It is the extra dimension blush and it's this like shimmery pinky purple. So I wanna do that on top, just kind of like right here, but I got this blush in PR a while back and I've been using it a ton. This is from iMethod. It is the natural looking rocks all over face blush color. And mine is the shade one, first love. It's just this really pretty Pretty peach color and it's so natural on the skin and I feel like with this with a little bit of the MAC blush on top it'll look really pretty. I've been really into combining different like 
bronzer and blush shades recently to create like a custom bronzer or blush. So just kind of melted everything in and now just using that same brush, I'm going to go back into the MAC one. I'm just gonna pat that on top. So I feel like this adds just a tiny bit of glow while still actively being a blush. It's very pretty. And now for lips, my current go-to lip combo has been the Rare Beauty Lip Liner and Lipstick. So this is in the shade Worthy. Both of them are in the shade Worthy. So I'm just gonna pop that on. I like to overline my lips kind of like vertically. So I keep it pretty close to my natural lip shape, kind of like over here on the corners, but then down here and on the top is where I kind of dramatize it a little bit. So it kind of gives me like very subtle queen of hearts lips. And last thing I want to do for this look is just pop on my Fenty Gloss in the shade Fussy just on top of my lips. That is all for today's look, friends. Thank you so much for joining me while I got ready this morning. I can't wait for you guys to see my fresh hair in next video. But with that, I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye, friends.